Hello, my YouTube friends. There are a lot of churches out there broadcasting their worship services these days. And having a simple solution for captioning these broadcasts with the scripture text for readings and song lyrics would be absolutely awesome. Well, there is a solution now that already has the scripture built in for the most popular Bible versions. And songs? Well, that's no problem. They're already there or they're really easy to create. And hold on there, fellow YouTubers thinking, I don't do church services. I don't need scriptures or anything like that. Well, believe me, there is plenty in this tool that you're gonna wanna use on your live streams. The best part is it's all totally free. So let's get to it. My goal on this channel is to help people become better live streamers and maybe entertain a little bit in the process. So take a second down below and leave me a comment to let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, click that thumbs up. That goes a long way towards helping YouTube push this content to a wider audience. And if you're not subscribed, please do and click that bell. That really does help me continue to make content that helps you. And it's totally free, so thanks. The name of this app is Allstream. It's totally free, like I said, and there is a link in the description so you can check it out. So let me show you how this works. Here we are in the Allstream website, and I'll just scroll down a little bit so you can see. it's pretty simple. We're going to go to sign up. You can see it doesn't cost anything. We're going to click get started. Now here you're going to have the option to go ahead and click sign up if you haven't had an account yet or you can sign in using Google. I recommend signing up and creating a separate account because if you want someone else to use this remotely you don't really want to give them your Google account information. I'm going to sign in through Google because I don't have anyone remotely do this unless I have Monica do it and she's not remote. So then we go in here we could see there are five different tabs. Tabs. We've got details, scriptures, lyrics, history, and scenes. And I'm going to cover each one of these. And you can go into the documentation section at the top and basically get lots of information on how this works. But we're just going to right click and copy this link address out right here. And we're going to paste it into our OBS. And to do that, we're going to use a browser source. And we'll just call this one captions. The standard is 1280 by 720. And we paste the link in here. And of course, a lot of you are streaming in 1920 by 1080 or something like that and you can set up all stream to do that I will show you how to do that in a little while but for now I'm just gonna put it in here at the native resolution that this particular segment is at and we'll just submit and it brings up everything that's already typed in there and that's the standard one it's the basic one that comes up at the very beginning so I can go in here and I can just type in whatever I want and I can click submit and you can see it changes it right away there's no length of time you have to wait or anything like that. And so if we change over to scriptures, you can see right here, here are the different books that you can use, all different versions of the Bible. We can drop down the book and select where we wanna read from. And then over on the right, you have chapters. And all you have to do is select it. And then you can go ahead and just click anywhere in here and it selects that reading and puts it right up on the screen. It's so easy to get started. Now, if we go into lyrics, you can go ahead and put songs in there on your own or you can click web lyrics and we type in the name of the song and who wrote it and click submit and your lyrics come right up and all we have to do is the same thing we just click on each line to have them come up on the screen super easy to set this up and these are just the most basic of features it gets much better now it's pretty cool so far but you can customize everything and I mean everything. Let me show you how to set up your own scenes and place the assets exactly where you want them resize them and make them look pretty. Now we're gonna get to the fun part. We're gonna go into scenes and we're gonna go ahead and click add scene. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna name our scene and we're going to set the resolution for our scene. So this is where if you're streaming in 1920 by 1080, you're gonna wanna go ahead and set it up like that. Then we're gonna click save and we're gonna go in here and edit it. And the first thing we're gonna do is drag one of these text layers on here and we can put this anywhere we want. And we're gonna go up and click the little gear and we're gonna set up a label for this. We're just gonna call it name one. And now we're gonna go down here and we're gonna hide scripture. We're gonna hide lyrics and we're going to show others. And we're gonna set this as editable. Then we're gonna use the little paintbrush here. We'll go over here on the left and we'll double click and we can go ahead and change the default text that's in here. 
just so we can get an idea of what this is gonna look like. And if we select it, we'll go over here and general has some different ways that you can set up your text, the position and all that kind of stuff. You won't really use that much, but if we go into layout, there's lots of stuff here that you're going to use. You could set up your height, your width, your margin. So this will adjust where it is on the screen. I like to leave it all set at zero and just move it around physically on the screen. What you're really gonna use here is padding. This is where you can pad the top or the bottom. I like to pad the right and the left a little bit so that we can do some other stuff with it and I'll show you that. In topography, we can set our font size and our font family. We can adjust the font weight, make it more bold, less bold, all that kind of stuff. We can adjust the letter spacing as well and we can adjust our text color and you can see when you select it it does this in real time which is really nice we're going to leave it at white and we can set our line height as well and we can also add or remove our text shadow you can see there are three different ways one moves it on the x-axis one moves it on the y-axis we can change the shadow color we'll change it to black we can change the blur and we just want to kind of set it where we want it and get the blur right and then we'll go down into decorations. What we can do is we can adjust the border widths on each side and we can adjust our border radius. So you can see this will make little edges rounded on the top or the bottom or the left or the right or however you want them to be. We can also adjust our border width and add a backdrop to it and a drop shadow to the box as well. So you could pretty much do anything that you want with these tools. And there's also extra in here which you can add some different things I haven't really messed around with that too much just yet. Let's go back over into the dashboard. We're gonna leave here. And once we do, we're gonna go into screens and we're gonna go ahead and just click this button to copy the link out. We'll go into OBS and click the plus under our sources. We'll go to browser and we'll create a new source called lower thirds. And we just paste our link in here and we set it to 1920 by 1080. And we're gonna go down and refresh the cache click OK and there we go so now we can just go in to our details and we want to remove the default screen and open up the lower third screen and there we can see our text we'll just type it in here we'll split the screen and when we click the arrow you can see it showing up and we can use this little eyeball to make it appear and disappear and let's just add a quick camera in the background make it easier to see and there we go isn't that awesome so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in and edit it again we can just drag in a new one we can rename it whatever we want Want. We'll just call this title and we'll call this one name again and we'll drag it down there, move it around a little bit and we're going to go in and we're going to label it in our dashboard to title one and we're going to hide the scripture and the lyrics and show other. Then we're going to go ahead and adjust our layout, make it look pretty, going to pad it a little bit and we're going to go ahead and adjust our font and our font size, make sure our drop shadow is black and we're going to go into decorations and we're going to just change the background color on these and we'll adjust the border radius on the new one looks pretty cool I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the color on our main title one so now it's kind of my stream colors there we go and now we can go in here and we can actually set an animation so these will animate on and off I'm just gonna select each one and make them both use the slide animation and I forgot to check editable so we want to make sure we do that on our title and then I'm gonna go back over to the dashboard and I'm gonna go to our lower third screen and put our names back in here the one problem is it doesn't actually save these now I know that the creator is working on saving these so we don't have to keep typing them in every time we have to go back to that screen. That is definitely a feature that's coming. And now you can see that when we add them and remove them, they kind of slide in there from the top. Pretty cool stuff. So I think it's pretty easy for you to see how you can create all kinds of lower thirds and graphics that can just appear on the screen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and select each one and duplicate them. I'm gonna go in here and just rename them. This one will be called name two. We'll select the title and we'll click this button to duplicate it. And we'll slide it all the way over here to the edge and just get it all adjusted up real nice. And we'll go into properties and we're gonna call this one title two. And now if we go back into dashboard, you're gonna see that we have all four listed in here so we can just do these up. 
And now that we have that done, we can go in and get these working. There we go. And you can place multiple of these all around the screen to use on different scenes and everything else. You can have whatever text you want. Now we're gonna go back into screens and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna edit again. And if we go right here, we can expand this and you can see we have our four little text bodies in here. We can just blank those out so we can continue to work without having to look at them. We'll put a little slider down here at the bottom and we can put the slider anywhere we want. It doesn't have to be at the bottom of the screen. And if we select it, we can go into the layout or the topography. We can select the fonts. We can adjust the font size and do all the same things with this that we are able to do on any other text piece. And we'll go in here and we're gonna go ahead and title it. We'll give this a name. We'll call it members. We can make it editable. We don't need an animation. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hide it on scripture, hide it on lyrics, and we're gonna show it on others. And now when we go back into our dashboard, we're gonna see that this is listed here as well. And all we have to do is type it up and populate it with all of the information that we need. And we can go into properties and we're gonna just refresh it. When we add new elements, we should always refresh it. And then we click it and boom. It appears on our screen and these really are instantaneous. The second that you click them, they show up. Just like you're seeing on my screen is exactly how it happens. You can use the little eyeball to hide them and there we go. One more thing in screens we wanna show, we're gonna go to edit. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and hide our little bar at the bottom and then we're gonna drag a scripture or lyrics in here and we're gonna move this wherever we want on the screen. It's really simple and this acts as a captions. So we can go ahead and we can set our fonts any way we want. We can also adjust the font size. This has all the same features as all the other text stuff does. So we can change the backgrounds and anything else that we want to change. We'll go in here and we'll put in the title, captions and comments. I'm not going to make this one editable and we're going to hide it on scripture, show it on lyrics and hide it on others. And we're gonna go ahead back into the main screen and we're gonna select lyrics. We just wanna click add a song and we'll title our song. And now you can put whatever you want on each of these lines. So this could be song lyrics. It could just be anything that you wanna have read on screen at any point during your stream. So it could be captions or pretty much anything you can think of. And then when you go into lyrics, it will show. Now if I go in here, I can show all this stuff too, but you'll notice when I click on the names, it hides our lyrics caption. And when I go back into lyrics, it will hide our names. And so if we go back into scenes, I can show you why that is. We'll select our scripture and we can go down here and we can select show on others. And that means that no matter what we do, it will show. Now I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna refresh the cache again. And now we can add our lyrics. And if we go over we're into details, we can add our names in here as well without making our lyrics disappear. It's pretty awesome. There's just so many cool ways that you can use this feature. And the last piece I wanna show you is that you can just go to the web page on your cell phone and do all of the exact same things. I can click on the lyrics to show and hide them. I can click on the lower thirds to show them and hide them and even the scroll bar. And it literally happens instantaneously, just the same as if we were doing it on a web page. Page. And the best part is that you can do this from anywhere in the world. So if you wanted to have somebody remotely add text to your screen, they can use their cell phone app no matter where they are. They can log into your dashboard and be able to change your text and put it up on screen anytime. The possibilities for this are endless. You could input your YouTube scripts into the lyrics section and caption your videos live while you're filming. And you could put song lyrics right on the screen for music content content with absolute ease. You can set up multiple lower thirds in various locations to use anytime during your stream. And the best part is you can have someone edit the lower thirds scrolling text or lyrics feature on the fly and add them to your screen from anywhere in the world. It's friggin' awesome. This could be used to add captions, put comments on the screen, or even put URLs on the screen when you're plugging a product. The only limit is your imagination. What an awesome tool. If you're looking for an automated way to add a variety of lower thirds to your stream, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.